What I'd like to do is I'd like to tell you a story. It's okay. a true story. <laughs> now, you all know about England. So, England is not the land of the Saxons or the Angles, even though it bears the Angles' name. It's the land of the Normans. And there's a reason that this is so. But it is not because of the strength of the Norman knights. And it is not because of the cunning of William the Bastard. No. It's all because of a minstrel boy. The boy who helped William on with his boots in the morning and sang him to sleep at night. For you see, when William set off with the Pope's banner to England in order to take the country while the King Harold was in the north fighting his own brother, well, he got there a wee bit late. And the Saxons were waiting on the top of the hill, giving the typical Saxon greeting for foreigners. Oh, oh, oh. Well, the Norman knights looked up the hill and they said, Ha! Sorry, Willem, we're passing off back to France. <laughs> there is no way we can charge up that hill on our horses. By the time we reach that shield wall, we'll be moving so slow we won't be able to break through. And all the time, the Saxon arrows will be raining down on our heads from above. So we'll not be helping you this door. And that's when William's minstrel, the boy who helped him on with his boots in the morning and sang him to sleep at night, grabbed a sword, leapt upon a horse and rode towards the Saxon line. He rode back and forth in front of the shield wall, tossing the sword in the air so it caught the light of the sun and singing from the Song of Roland. And when he came to the point where he sang, and then Roland, fierce as a lion, brave as a leopard, said, ours is not to live in glory, ours is but to die for duty. He turned and charged into the Saxon wall. Of course, he was almost immediately killed. <laughs> he wasn't a Norman knight. He wasn't some great lord. He was just a minstrel. The boy who helped William on with his boots in the morning and sang him to sleep at night. But down below, the Norman knights were ashamed. Ashamed that this boy had done what they dared not. So they charged the hill. And <laughs> they failed. And they charged again, and they failed. <laughs> but on the third charge, the Norman's archers had been able to slink far enough up the hill. And they fired an arrow over the line. It struck down King Harold. And as the king lay there dying, his thanes left the shield wall to be with their dying king. Now without a commander, the house carls, infuriated by this, charged down the hill after the retreating Normans, who simply wheeled about and destroyed them. Then they rode up the hill and killed every last Saxon thane who stood about their dying king. And that, that is how England became a Norman land. Not because of the cunning of King Willem. Not because of the strength of the Norman knights. But because of the minstrel boy. The one who helped William on with his boots in the morning. And sang him to sleep at night.